So here's the uh, peanut beetles, and I'd figure I'd make a quick video and show you how I do the cultures. So here's my container. I just bought one of those dollar store Rubbermaids. I cut the top out and hot glued a piece of, uh, of mesh on there so they can't get out, right? And they have plenty of air because with these guys, you got to have a ton of air. If they go moist or any humidity, they'll just rot and all the peanuts will go bad and, and all the oatmeal and it's just gross. So make sure you have a ton of air getting in there. Um, and then what you see here, I, I'm using sweet potatoes. Um, and it's just sliced up sweet potatoes and that's basically their water. Um, you change those every week or two. And then there's a layer of peanuts. And then if you can look down here, I'm just using oatmeal for the base. So there's a little tiny little bit of oatmeal and then peanuts and then you'll put uh, their water source on top. And that, that works really good. I think they have about a 75 day life cycle. So it does take a while for them to get started. Um, but once, once they do, I kind of dig down into this layer here and then I'll sift it uh, with like a coffee strainer, or not a coffee strainer, but a, uh, one of these things. And uh, it seems to get all the worms out and you can really, uh, uh, you know, uh, separate the two so it's good because you do not want to feed the adult beetles to your fish those are not good um, definitely only want to feed the little mealworms uh, the larva from these guys um, and they're a great food source it's it's amazing when when you uh, start feeding them the breeders will just fatten up and they love it it's a great food source so give them a shot easy to food easy to breed uh, easy to keep um, this will probably stay three or four months like this. There's, you know, not a whole lot to do. Just add some fresh potato slices in the top or sweet potato, and you'll be good. But there it is. If you have any questions, let me know. Here's what the beetle larvae look like once you separate them from the beetles. And again, don't feed the beetles to your fish. Only feed the... Uh, little mealworm looking deals to your fish. So I've got them separated. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, just take a pair of tweezers and kinda hand feed the fish. They love it. If you have any questions after watching this video you can get a hold of me at RockyMountainPlecos.com Thanks for watching.